Okay, let's do another interesting uh, how-to. I get a lot of requests from people saying, Hey Steve, why don't you show us how to do a couple of things that you do? And I'm like, well, okay, while I've got time I can do these things. And I've got this little camera now, so uh, let's do something. Um, I've got this knife I just made the other day. Maybe some of you saw it in the other video that I... I posted. It's got titanium liners right now. You can see they're they're just the regular brushed brushed look, which is pretty typical. And uh, what we can do is we'll we'll just set this camera here, and I hope you can hear me. And uh, we're going to turn on our DC generator. You can buy these at circuit specialists or any number of places. I think I paid $99 for this thing when I bought it many years ago. And it's been a good little machine. They use these in the labs in the high school here where I live, which is where I first learned about them. They're made in China, but it was $99. And they, they work and they're reliable. And I set this one to 27 volts. That's going to give us a nice blue color. And I'm going to show you how I would do this. Now this knife in particular is a good example. Because let's say you have a knife with titanium liners, but you can't take it apart or you don't know how. In this case, to take this knife apart would probably ruin the scales, if not, you know, uh, ding them up anyway. But, uh, you know, we could get it apart, but it would be a pain in the butt. But let's look at this and see if we can't do a little fun project. I hope you can see. Let me double check to make sure that's getting... Yeah, I think that ought to work. It might not be ideal, but you'll get the idea. What we're going to do here is we're going to take a little piece of paper towel. doesn't take much. And we're just going to dip that in our solution here. Uh, this is what I use to anodize. And we just wet that a little bit. I'm going to set that here on something. And then we're going to open this up. And we're just going to... Normally what we would do is we have our ground over here. I guess some of you can see that. I don't, uh, the ground would be anode and cathode is what they'd call it, I guess, in the scientific circles. But we're going to reverse it for the purposes of this type of anodizing. Normally the positive is where you would dip it and you'd hold it with the positive and it would turn color while you're watching in the tank. Well, in this case, you're going to take this hook off and you're going to want to do that normally with gloves on. Steve's an idiot though. But uh, you're going to ground this knife now so that you're going to do that with the kind of like that where you just stick the I don't I don't know if it's a ground I don't know enough about electricity to tell you the details about all that crap I'm just going to tell you what it works so we've dipped this now we got a little wet on our solution and we can just place that over the liners and we can take this negative and we can just kind of touch it and as we touch it going through the paper towel we push our way down touching the liners, they instantly turn blue. And if we wanted, since blue and black probably don't look all that good, we could crank this up. So let's go up and put it to, oh I don't know, let's try a gold color and see how that looks with black. Let's try that works there. And so we'll just make these scales black and gold combo. And that'll give those nice... And you probably didn't see it before I started, but I brushed these with this Scotch-Brite pad that's here in front of me. To just go over them one time with the, the Scotch Brite to expose the metal. And we're going to go. 
go down here and this might turn the back spring just a little bit but we can I can show you how to rub that off a little once you get it going uh, fortunately G10 is an excellent insulator so I'm not feeling anything here holding this G10 through here like this You can see where it's getting a little warm around the metal. And that's the reaction on the steel, not the titanium. The titanium it just turns color quietly. You don't really have to deal with any of the sparking stuff. A whole lot. But we can basically do this all the way around the liners on the outside. And because it's G10, it's not going to hurt the, you know, the thermal properties of G10. It's uh, it, the, these handle scales would melt before this G10 would, in all likelihood. So now we got to turn this around, and close that down just a little, so we can get here on the back side, and just dampen that a little bit more. Stick that right there. And hopefully, hit every part of the liner this way. And every part of it's gold. So, we end up with uh, gold liners on a black scale knife. I don't know if you can see that. They might kind of look uh, funky in the dark here. Then what we can do is we can raise that spring up just a little bit. See where it tarnished the spring. And now we can get in here and we can rub that. It's just very light on the surface anyway. So it doesn't take a whole lot to go down the spring. Just take that light surface change that occurred. And these areas where it's not going to raise are a little trickier. But it's so shallow and on surface only on there because you just did it and it hasn't had a chance that you just knock it right off and it just cleans right back up and then you can go down it with your shirt clean back up make sure you haven't tarnished any other spots of the steel and you look it over and now you have a gold anodized black folder so there you go guys there's a how to for you I don't know if that shows up gold or not. It might not. I can't really tell you if you can see that. But my phone's ringing. Probably something with the Sears repairman here, so I better go. Thanks.